Hey, we're Brothers Forge Gaming, and this is Wizardry, a Forsaken Tale on the PS2. Right there, you're looking at the path to victory. Did a still frame of that real quick so you guys could see if you want to pause on that. There's also a longer one coming up at the end, but right here is a look at the map. As you can see, Guiding Staff. You want to bring three or four of those. There's actually a spell you can unlock, but uh, as you know, in games like this, spells are very limited. So uh, I recommend bringing the Guiding Staff. It's inexpensive. Um, you can pick it up in a store on the first level. It is actually near the entrance to the uh, second level. It's uh, right before you go into the room where you first meet Death. There is a store if you go, you can go left or right. You go right, you go to the store, you go left, you go to the um, you know, main entrance that leads you down to the second layer. And that is where you'll find your guiding staff, um, transfer potions, things like that. Now as you can see, this is just a quick guide, guys, to how to get through one of the hardest labyrinths I've ever faced in any game ever. Uh, you're being attacked around every corner, you can fall into these pit traps. If you see uh, the pink areas on the map, those are either uh, pit traps or other some other kinds of traps. Now, most of them fall and you fall down into what is here is this basement area. As you can see, I uh, just wanted to highlight the underground map for you real quick, uh, if that helps you out at all. So there's a there's an area map of that. But yeah, when you fall into the pink area, you fall down there, there's eventually a port out. But right here, uh, you see the stairs. You want to take the stairs because if you actually go out back up in the port it takes you back to the beginning so not, like I said a lot of twists and turns you can get lost super easy you're getting jumped all the time from behind getting turned around it all kind of looks the same now there are some markers around there's some barrels and some different tombstones and things like that so you use those to, to kind of mark your path now that first hole we fell in back there was I believe originally there was a like a like a bag on it or something and you had to investigate it and then walk onto it to fall through it and i want to say that that the next one you fall through is like that as well now the area over to the left if you saw is there's a oh yeah right here okay so that tombstone right there that you just saw i had to press it forward i want to say that it cut off access to a different area though so i almost wonder if i shouldn't have pushed it forward but when you come upon it it's you know it asks you do you want to push it or not so uh, I pushed it forward. I'm not sure if I had to to get by there. Uh, you might you might very well have to. Um, but as you can see here, I'm actually kind of heading the other way first. And I, I kind of went the wrong way to begin with. So then I just uh, brought you back to the middle here, which is where you're going to want to go to the right. But as you can see over there to the left, if you go over there, there's a whole other area. I believe you unlock a key, you uh, proc some of the storyline. So you do eventually want to go over there. But those barrels back there, that's another key identifier. Uh, just kind of like guide your way now this is where it gets tricky because like i said these um there's certain traps that you have to walk over so not all of them are pitfalls into the earth um underground area so the that original one back there and then this one coming up here and it's actually a double pitfall so you um you have to walk forward activate the trap uh, disarm it and if you go forward again you actually fall in and have to start the process over again um, as you can see here by the double pink there so you want to go you want to walk onto the trap here, then you want to turn and, and walk forward and get another pit. However, this one takes you to where you want to go.
as you can see that door there, it leads back up to an elevator, which I would assume takes you to the top uh, basement two floor with the jail cells and all the different elevators. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to turn that on though. So um, I've had to navigate this maze multiple times now, unfortunately. Um, I was hoping I could have unlocked that shortcut, but I actually went back through the jail and tried to figure out how to unlock it. And then if you go through there, bummer man, because it takes you all the way back to the beginning. So uh, I guess if you didn't have a transfer potion, that's your way out. Otherwise, do not go through that square if you don't want to get taken back to the beginning. But anyway, like I said, hopefully this will help you through one of the hardest maps in the game. Um, so yeah, good luck guys. This is one of the few mazes that uh, made me want to tap out. So I'm glad I went through it. And hopefully this map helps you out. Let us know if you have any other tough spots in here. We'll try to get a review for you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.